Hi, it's Lance Martin from MBO America. We have a sequel to the earlier video about speeding up your make ready by focusing in on the preset tooling for your MBO folder. Last time we demonstrated the technique using our newest folder, the T800.1. That folder had our exclusive slitter shaft cassette, which made the installation of slitter shafts and swapping them out incredibly easy because this the drawer style assembly open aided up to the opened up to the operator side of the machine, allowing the operator really easy access to pop the shafts in and out. And you didn't have to move any other part of the machine. Then you had to just simply close the door, and they're ready to run, and they can save those shafts for future jobs. This time we're going to show the same technique as it applies to an older MBO folder design still in use today. Now there are thousands of these machines still in operation in North America, and the good news is they all use a similar setup design. They all use the same type of tooling shafts, and they all use the same tooling uh, wheels and, and perf wheels and slitter wheels. The only real difference is they access them from the exit side lower part of the unit, as you can see here today on this design folder. Now in most instances, you would have a folder set up maybe similarly to this one. You would just simply camp the second unit off to the side a little bit, go around, set the tooling of it, set the tooling up, move it back, and run. Or you could maybe do the second unit, if you had tooling in the second unit, move this one out of the way, go in, get access to these slitter shafts, and run it that way. <clears throat> Either way, the idea is the same, the technique's the same, and your, advanced, your advantages to make ready are the same. So here with us today is Jason Labrie, MBO America's operations manager. He's going to demonstrate the process, showing a typical job teens for tooling. So Jason, take it away. So the first thing we're going to do is get the safety cover up out of our way. Just like that. I'm going to take my universal fold up, fold setup tool, and we're going to take the exit shaft out first. up out of the way. Next we're going to take out the lower slitter shaft. And next we'll take out the upper slitter shaft. So it looks like the only thing you're doing to use that is the set screw on the collar on that on the uh, pull out of the bearing, right? That's correct, Lance. There's one set screw for each of the shafts. And it they pops don't right out. Very tight, just snug fit, so it should always come out easily. A little pull on the retainer, pull it out of the other receiver end, and it's out. And just a little history. So we're using new machinery, of course, and you, but this is. This is the design of MBO's slitter shaft tooling for years and years, right? This is the same in any of the legacy equipment. The only difference would be the length of the shaft. It might be longer or shorter depending on the machine you're using. So a B26 versus a B30, would, uh, but they're all the same design, so the logic we're using here is good for all those machines. It'll work on all of our legacy equipment, yes. Great. So Jason, before you go on and put the other ones back, why don't you... Uh, why don't you let me come in with the camera here real quick and let's show everybody the two different sets of tooling. All right. So what we have here are the shafts that we just took out. This was the job we were running. These are the shafts we're going to put in now. Uh, these are already set up from the last time we ran this job. So all we have to do now is put these back in and we should be almost perfect set up for the next job. So this is, what we're really saying is this is good for, for any repeat type setup job or maybe a common one. So if you're running a lot of 16s or you change from a 16 to a quick fold 32 all the time, you can, you can set these up and have them ready to go. Absolutely, Lance. Having these set up already, labeled at, according to the job that we run on it, 
We simply go get those shafts, put them in the machine, it'll only take small tweaks and we're ready to run. It's a lot faster than taking all of the tooling off of these shafts, putting the new tooling on, and then setting up the job. It, it's a huge time saver, Lance. Great. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, show them how to put them back in. All right, Lance, let's do it. It's the reverse of what we just did. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our upper shaft in. We need to get it into the receiver over here. And the retainer in, a little tap, and tighten it up. Once again, these don't need to be very tight, just snug. Now we'll put the lower shaft in. Same process. tap, tighten it up, now we'll put the exit shaft in. We didn't do anything to the exit shaft, we just needed to get it out of the way. Tap, tighten it up, and our MBO Universal install tool really comes in handy. Keeps the tool where you need it when you need it. That's all there is to it. Wow, it's that's that great. simple. So that's great. So uh, by looking at the camera, we only spent a couple of minutes changing out shafts and putting them in. So are you thinking if you had to do that from scratch and change tooling, you would have added another five or ten minutes to this? At least. At least I'd say probably closer to 15 minutes, depending on how complicated your, your setup is. Yeah, the more complicated, the better it gets. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I guess that's the message we're sending to everybody is um, you could possibly save anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes per make ready on when you've got jobs that require tooling. And if you're doing that five, six, seven times a day, this is a big deal. It is. It's a very big deal. And all of these tools are available from MBO America's Fair Parts. We have plenty in stock. That's great. All right. Thank you, Jason. Absolutely. My pleasure. To implement this suggestion in your workflow, call MBO America Parts at 800-336-1164 and ask for the slitter shafts and tooling necessary to set up preset patterns on your folder. Standard collars and tool holders are shown here with 30mm units on the left, 35mm units on the right. In addition, you should have two shafts for each setup and the perf, score, and slitter wheels for the patterns you wish to do. Have the model and serial numbers of your machines handy when you call so we can be accurate. And that's it. We at MBO America hope this tip gives you the opportunity to reduce your make ready and be more efficient. Thanks for watching and best wishes for a successful year from MBO America.